Warning, federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This infringement of copyright is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news, recording, teaching, and parody. All records, footage, and resources used are all public records researched and compiled all together for awareness, educational, and entertainment purposes of the video. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to On The Case with the Wake Dr. Sai J. If you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. So today, we're going to have a quick little talk with Mr. Narcissist himself, Schaefer Smith, a.k.a. Neo. But before I do that, go ahead and do me a favor and give this video a dab and smash that like button one time for the one time for your girl. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll wait. Waiting. While you at it, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below in the comment section for me, please. If you want to be notified anytime I drop a dope video, don't forget to ring my bell. All right, now let's move on. So as I was saying, Mr. Narcissus himself, Schaefer Neo Smith, is under fire for the latest bad boy behavior. It's reported by his wife, Crystal, that Neo has been cheating the whole entire eight years they've been together. It also was reported he was previously cheating on his first baby mama and ex fiance Miss Monietta Shaw, who has recently became a newlywed. And I just want to say something real quick. Yeah, me. I just, I just want to intervene and just add in real quick. I just want to say kudos to her for jumping off this bandwagon because God only knows she definitely didn't need to be a part of this ringmaster's circus anymore. What I want to understand is how you could be married twice together with somebody pretty much the last 8 to 14 years, but still free and single at the same damn time and available to get out here making side babies. Does anybody, anybody know? It's crazy. I don't know, but maybe Mr. Gentleman of the Year can answer that since he has all the game to do it. According to records and reports, Neo allegedly fathered a baby to his latest side piece and screwed up again, all within a few months of the renewal of his second marriage ceremony. Yeah, within a few months. So the alleged side piece and the latest baby mama goes by It's Big Sade on Instagram. And this is what Crystal had to say in a frustrating message she posted on her Instagram. Eight years. Eight years of lies and deception. Eight years of unknowingly sharing my life and my husband with numerous of women who sell their bodies to him unprotected. Every last one of them. To say I'm heartbroken and disgusted is an understatement. To ask me to stay and accept it is absolutely insane. The mentality of a narcissist. I will no longer lie to the public or pretend that this is something it isn't. I choose me. I choose my happiness and health and my respect. I gained three beautiful children out of this, but nothing else but wasted time, wasted years, and heartache. I ask that you all please stop sending me videos or information of him cheating because what he does is no longer my concern. I am not a victim. I'm choosing to stand tall with my head held high. If someone can't love you the way you deserve, then it's up to you to love yourself. With no hate in my heart, I wish him nothing but the best. Crystal Renee. Child. Mm. 
So then Neo had the nerve and the audacity to respond with this, saying, For the sake of our children, my family and I will work through our challenges behind closed doors. Personal matters are not meant to be addressed and dissected in public forums. I simply ask that you please respect me and my family's privacy at this time. And he said this on July 31st. Ciao. That's weird. The narcissist in him. <laughs> Ciao. Neil going to cry in the car. I find it funny and weird that Neil all of a sudden wants privacy, being that he had no problem in the past speaking out about his private affairs, especially when it was about Miss Manietta Shaw. And then he responded on a public for you, Twitter. But all right, whatever, let's move on. But anyway, Crystal Renee apparently had enough of Neo's toxic behavior because she ran straight over to the courts and took it a step further, filing for a divorce. Child support and all, honey. Let's go to the dockets and check out what was filed. So on August 1st, 2022, she filed a list of different petitions. It gives us the list and it gives us the date. So as we can see, they'll have a hearing at 10 a.m. on September the 7th, 2022. So the first petition I clicked on is for an automatic domestic standing order. And as you can see, it has Crystal R. Smith listed as the petitioner and Schaefer Smith, AKA Neo, listed as the respondent. So let's read a little more about what it says. It says, number one, this order applies to all cases which are filed in the family division of the court of blank county and shall remain in effect up through the entry of the final order in this case. This order contains provisions that regulate the party's conduct during the pendency of this case. The party shall not act in a manner that will violate any provisions set out in this order. The party shall further be prohibited from instructing, encouraging, or causing others to act in a manner that will violate the terms in spirit of this standing order. Number two, each party is hereby required to complete the domestic intake worksheet and to bring it to the 30-day status conference. Number three, all parties to a case involving a question of custody of minor children excluding contempt or modification actions are hereby enjoined and restrained from causing or permitting the minor children of the parties to be removed from the state of blank. The only exception to this prohibition shall be for vacations or excursions outside of the state of blank for a period of not to exceed 14 days. During the above reference 14 day period, the children shall not be removed from the United States. Customary activities, events such as camp attendance or boarding school shall also serve as exceptions to the restraints concerning the removal of the children from the state of blank. In the event the children are removed from the state of blank in accordance with the terms of this paragraph, advance written notice must be provided to the opposing party outlining the dates of travel, the travel destinations, and contact numbers where the children will be staying. So in other words, it looks like she went and petitioned for custody of the children. Hmm. Let's move on to the next docket. So the next docket we have is um, the intake form, the required intake form that they both had to fill out within 30 days. And as you can see, Crypto Renee wasn't playing because child, she didn't even wait them 30 days. She filed that right after filing the other docket, the other petition. Child, she filed that on August the 1st when she filed for her divorce too. She wasn't playing. 
So child, as I read on on the next page, it says the text one case, check one case type and one subtype in the same box if a subtype applied. So girl, crystal, crystal check off dissolution, divorce, separate, mate, maintenance, alimony. But then I look further down under the next box and she also checked off family violence petition modification. So I'm sitting here like, huh? What's that about? And I read on, it say, I hereby certify that documents in the filing, including attachments and exhibits, satisfy the requirements for the redaction of personal or confidential information in OCGA 9-11-7.1. So I carry my ass on over to see what this code means and what it says. Thinking it was going to give us some special type of detail, shall. But I think it's only just saying that basically they redacted information for um, protection or because of who she is. Just to keep certain information um, private. But anyway, that's what it says. It's saying... Civil practice, well, chapter 11, civil practice at Article 3, pleadings and motions, 9-11-7.1, redacted information, exceptions, and filings under seal, correction, protection order, protective orders, waiver. It says, A, redacted filings except as provided in subsections B and C, of this code section or unless the court orders otherwise. A filing with the court that contains a social security number, taxpayer identification number, financial account number, or birth date shall include only the last four digits of a social security number, the last four digits of a taxpayer identification number, the last four digits of a financial account number, and the year of an individual's birth. B, garnishment. A summons of garnishment that is filed with a court shall only include the last four digits of the defendant's social security number, taxpayer identification number, or financial account number, provided, however, that the plaintiff shall provide the defendant's full social security number, taxpayer identification number, or financial account number, if reasonably available to the plaintiff on the copies of the summons of garnishment served on the garnishee and defendant. C, exemptions from redaction requirement. Subsection A of this code section shall not apply to the following. One, a financial account number that identifies property allegedly subject to forfeiture in a civil forfeiture proceeding. Two, the official record of an, an administrative or agency proceeding. Three, the official record of a court or tribunal in another case or proceeding. Four, a filing made in a pro probate court and a filing made under seal as provided in subsection D of this code section. D, filings made under seal. The court may order that a filing be made under seal without redaction. The court may later unseal the filing or order the filer to file a redacted version for the public record. A filer may petition the court to file an unredacted filing under seal. The court shall retain all filings made under seal as part of the record. E, correction. Correction of unredacted information. An inadvertent failure to redact information which is required to be redacted shall be a curable defect and shall not, shall not preclude a document from being filed with the court. The court may order an unredacted filing be sealed and may also order 
that a redacted version of the same filing be filed for the public record. F. Protective order. For good cause, the court may order a filing which contains additional personal or confidential information other than the information required to be redacted pursuant to this code section, be sealed, and may also order that a redacted version of the same filing be filed for the public record and limit or prohibit a non-party remote electronic access to a document filed with the court. G, option for reference list. A filing that contains redacted information may be filed together with a reference list that identifies each item of redacted information and specifies an appropriate, an appropriate identifier that uniquely corresponds to each item listed. Such reference list shall be filed under seal and may be amended as of right. Any reference in a civil action to a listed identifier shall be con construed to refer to the corresponding item of information. H, waiver of protected identifiers. A filer waives the protections provided by subsection A of this code section to the extent that he or she makes his or her own filing without redaction and not under seal. Well, child, I read all that and still don't even know what this damn law jargon means. Child, I'm going to have to reread this again all to myself. But maybe one of y'all can tell me down in the comments or maybe a, um, a lawyer or somebody who knows this damn jargon they talking. Child, <laughs> let's go on to the next topic. Well, now after that ball of confusion on the last page, <laughs> we got something a little bit more simpler. Um, She filed for her alimony and child support. So, what we got in front of us is Crystal's petition for her alimony. It says, motion for interim attorney fees, alimony, child support, and request for a temporary hearing. Comes now, Crystal R. Smith, here and after, referred to as petitioner in the above styled action and files this her motion for interim attorney fees, alimony, child support, and a request for a temporary hearing and states as follows. One, the petitioner filed the present action for divorce on or about August 1st, 2022. Number two, petitioner is presently unemployed and is completely dependent upon respondent for support and maintenance. Number three, petitioner and respondent agreed for petitioner to be a stay-at-home wife and mother for the majority of their marriage. Number four, respondent is employed as a singer, record producer, songwriter, and has significant self-employment income. Number five, petitioner seeks an interim award of attorney's fees under OCGA 19-6-2 due to the disparity in income between the parties. Respondent is the breadwinner and sole provider and has the funds from which to pay petitioner's attorney fees. So in other words, child, she went on fees paid up, okay? She's not about to pay for no damn lawyer when he got the money to do so. She ain't having it. And she want her alimony. She want her alimony, Neo. Give Crystal her alimony and her money, baby. So anyway, as I was working on this, I got a message saying Neo had a damn tag account style. It just don't stop. <laughs> so me, wanting to be messy, a little bit more messy, went to go see Cal. And sure enough, he do have a tag account. And the funny thing is, it says he was last active three months ago, which would mean somewhere around back in May, which is ironic because that would be just a month after him and Crystal renewed their vows. They renewed their vows allegedly back in April. And that would also mean then after just two months, Crystal would make the post about him being unprotected with a numerous of women and paying them to sleep with him. 
saying he was cheating the whole entire relationship. Now, mind you, we know they've been together for eight years. And his ex, when he had a shawl, said the same thing. And they were together for four years. And he supposedly stayed by himself for a year and a half after Manietta. So, according to the Feds account and their records, it says Neo has been active, an active member since 2006. So, that's about 16 years he's been on tag. I don't know how you need a, a, a dating account that long or what you need it for. No there was no chill. Zero chill. There was no chill. I mean, well, like, Especially, I don't know, especially him, that's crazy, but, I mean, I can't put it past him. I mean, being that Crystal said herself in an interview on um, on Tamara's, Tamara's show that her and Neo met because Neo jumped into her DM. And then they later met for dinner. So, I mean, I can't, I can't put it past him. I don't think, I don't think having a dating account is above Neo's. Uh, above Neo standard at this point. So, um, yeah, I checked it out, and yeah, he definitely had a tag account, and they also said he had a a meet me account. But you can't see you can't see what the person's doing, or you can't see their their page without being an active member yourself on Meet Me. And child, I ain't got one of those, so it ain't going to happen. But yeah, for those of you who are asking what the hell tag is, tag is a dating a dating account. And meet me is also, I guess, for like meeting up with people and dating. I don't know. It's like a social account, but yeah, tag is specifically like for dating and all that type of shit. When you just want to meet and link up with people, yeah. So that's what Neil has apparently. He's been an active member over <laughs> the past like decade. So yeah. So maybe all those women, or a good portion of them women came from one of these dating sites that Neo has an account on that um, Crystal spoke of. Maybe he's meeting people while he's out because, you know, when you're on like one of those dating websites or whatever, you could be out in a whole nother place or um, wherever you travel to and it has your location and then it'll link you with people that's in the area. So maybe he was finding all these women off of one of these dating websites. I don't know, but that's weird. That's suspicious. Then public records shows he has a website giving advice to what it looks like, um, I guess, men on how to become the perfect gentleman and how to find love on online dating websites. How ironic. He allegedly has these dating accounts and is giving advice on how to find love on dating sites. I'll tell you this, even if the excuse was that he had these dating accounts for research purposes so that he could add the information onto his website, but it, it definitely don't take no damn years, not that many years, not as long as he's been on there to do some research just for references for an, an article or a website he's building or doing. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, he even includes, he even includes a video, a YouTube video for the men on there on how to level up. So, I don't know, child, but that's what I see. So, anyway, back to the side chick, um, who allegedly had the baby, um, it's alleged that the baby is over a year old. And again, her name is it's Big Sade on Instagram. So it also was alleged that Neo liked her pregnancy photo that she posted up on Instagram. Let's go back to that photo. So it seems as if she may be a sister wife twin of Neo's current but soon to be ex wife. Because, honey, these two look like twins. I mean, he he must have a type. After he left Manetta, he must have um, gravitated towards a type. Because her and the wife look alike, child. Yeah, the two of them out here looking like sister-wife twins, honey. 
But let's go to some of the comments that people was leaving under her post. So she captioned this picture, baby mama harder than a lot of you niggas. Somebody said, and his dirty ass. And then somebody else said, somebody else commented, man, she broke up a family. And where is the pictures of the baby? She didn't even post it. Another commenter said, man, this girl ain't worried about y'all. Somebody else. Man, you ain't shit, I promise. Yeah, and so fans went on commenting and commenting under her post until, I guess, she just finally took it off because it ain't up there no more if you go look on her, chain, on her page. So she don't even got the picture up there no more. So I guess she took it down after all this. It's also alleged that um, her and Neil's supposed or alleged child was born a few months sooner than Neo and Crystal's last child, which was born June 25th, 2021. And so this supposed side chick, she had her baby supposedly February 20th, 2021. Um, Neo and Crystal have been together for eight years and married for six of the eight years. According to Crystal, she was in Las Vegas but Neo jumped into her DMs, of course. He jumped into her DMs and kept trying to meet up with her and trying to get him to meet up with him. Um, but, and he was persistent, but allegedly, you know, they just started kind of connecting with each other because he had a role coming up for um, the album that he was dropping. And um, he needed a, he needed a, a girl, a vixen, to play the role for the short little film that he was dropping for the album. And so he was interested in Crystal, but Crystal wasn't really interested in him like that at first because she was really just worried about getting the role and getting the job. She just wanted to work. But she said that Neo was just persistent enough to the point where he got her um, director to reach out to her the directing agent to reach out to her. And then, so I guess she, you know, she eventually just went ahead and caved in. And so they met for dinner and she made him wait three hours before. And according to Neo, she made him wait three hours before because she was back home researching him and trying to figure out what he was about ahead of time. Trying to make sure he wasn't high enough. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they said they said all that, but I don't know how she missed the um tag the count, honey, or the the meet me's and all that other shit. But I don't know. I seen it. So yeah, during that time, apparently Crystal was an IG model, but Neil said he thinks she just started because she didn't have that many pictures up there at the time. But he thought she was beautiful, so he jumped in them DMs, honey, and that's just what it was. So. I mean, he was jumping in DMs back then, so I'm sure he's still jumping in DMs now. But anyway, yeah, Crystal said he was persistent, but she wasn't looking for anything but a job at the time. She was apparently, like I said, doing IG modeling, and so Neo thought she would be perfect for a role he was casting for. Neo says he was looking for a leading lady for a short film for an album he was dropping. And Crystal was the one he was interested in. He called her director agent and got her to contact Crystal for him. Crystal agreed and the two met for dinner, which she says they were together ever since. She claimed he was different, but I guess not. It's not too much different, seeing as the two ended up suffering a terrible relationship the whole time, according to Crystal. But was this a surprise? I, I don't see how. I don't see how it could have been. I mean, did Crystal miss the chapter of Miss Manyetta Shaw? Manyetta Shaw, Neil's prior fiance, claimed they had a turbulent relationship themselves. Also, the whole time they dated. Manyetta had two children in Neo, which are Neil's two oldest children. While Manyetta was pregnant, with the second child, she said it seemed like 
she was a single parent because Neo was always going on the road and in LA working, or so she thought. When it was time to give birth to that second child, Neo was there and everything was good for a moment until Manietta asked the doctor right there while still in the delivery room to tie her tubes immediately. The doctor was hesitant, but eventually complied and performed the tubal ligation right in the delivery room. Neo was, of course, supposed to follow suit. However, that did not happen. He never did, and Manietta pretty much done this by herself and on her own, which she later regretted. She initially claimed Neo made her do it because he didn't want any more kids, but she later came back out and stated Neo is a good man, and she made this decision on her own because they already had a boy and a girl, and her motherhood was tough on her while parenting pretty much alone since Neo was hardly home. While at home one night, Manietta said Neo called and just told her the relationship was over. And this was right before that wedding day, allegedly. Sadly, Neo had already sneakily moved on from Manietta, which she said she realized it was over once he made statements to the blogs, and once Neo dropped his song, he was away working on Money Can't Buy, with Crystal being his vixen girl in the video. She also made it very clear in Hollywood Access interview that Crystal wasn't one of the side chicks during her and Neo's time, and she claimed Crystal wasn't the reason for the split or the other woman at the end of their relationship. But of course, this didn't hinder fans or other people from believing so. Manietta said it took her about two years to fully and completely move on and get over Neo, but she finally did, finding her now husband, Keith Carter, which they married December of 2021. As for Crystal, we hope she heals and fully moves on to eventually find real love. I mean, I don't blame her for running to the courts. I mean, she did say Neo was paying a numerous amount of women for unprotected schmecks. You know what I'm saying. This can't be safe, so the best thing for her to do is to just go ahead, get everything checked out, and run, damn it. Just run. <laughs> and don't look back. Anyway, um, I'll talk to y'all guys the next time. This has been it for this episode. And I'm going to catch y'all next time. Please like this video. Share this video. Comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell. Thank you for watching. I'm out this joint. I'll talk to y'all next time.